KS1075 Summer Jam 18. What up? This is the kid, Machine Gun Kelly. Guess who's here? Yeah, uh, yes. Mile High City. What up? MGK is here. Yes, sir. Welcome back to the What's Mile up, High City, man. Thank you so much. It's good to see you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, man. Good you to are, be here. You are killing it out there. Thanks, <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> where, where, where did the where does the energy come from? Because you are all up and down the aisles, all over the place. Uh, candy. Candy. You got your Reese's right there. What, <laughs> what, what's the candy of choice? Uh, it's filled with milligrams of a certain substance and makes you go to sleep. <laughs> what are the other? Take take a cab. Um. What's uh, interesting, I saw uh, a lot of things going on your, on your social media and whatnot uh, with uh, Cleveland being in the, in the, the finals. finals. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, saw you do a video with Bone. That was pretty good. Represent. Dude. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's the, that's the crew, man. How, mm -hmm. how is that for, for Cleveland? Because you know, the, the sports story of Cleveland people. It's so bad. You know, it's, it's so bad. Yeah. It's been years since they haven't had a championship there. And now, you know, this series is tied up two games apiece and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I was at the game last night, actually. You were there, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, I was there. Yeah, that was crazy when, when you know, LeBron he hit his head. Oh, man. Yeah. It was, it was a lot of it, weird stuff going on. I didn't like, like all that. Yeah. I, you know, this series is really, you know, making me lose some hair because it's, like, <laughs> too intense. You know what I mean? Right. Two overtimes. I can't do all that, man. Yeah. Just, just win Cleveland. You just want to get it, get yeah, it done. let's get it done, man. Sweep them. You got confidence that they can they can take two more out of the three because there's two of them, two more on the road. Yeah, dog. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. All yeah. Right. We're not faced. All right. That's the squad thing. Mm -hmm. Um, a lot of people know this. Some people don't that uh, that you have definite ties here to Denver. Most uh, definitely. Spent spent some time here. You know, growing up and from one of some of the stuff that I was reading. You know, mm -hmm. really, you kind of developed. You know, your love for rap and started all, you know, all here. stuff right here in 100%. Denver. Hundred percent. Yeah. Um, tell us about the time you spent here in Denver and you know how how that really, you know, got you going as far as you know where you are right now. Well, you know, I have two tattoos on uh well, I mean I'm more than two tattoos, but <laughs> Right, right. You got you plenty know, more than that. <laughs> I have I have two different area codes tattooed on me, and that's two one six and that's Cleveland Island, it's three oh three and that's Denver, right? So yeah. You know, those were two cities both responsible for raising me and becoming me or helping me become a man. Mm -hmm. You know, so from age nine to age 14, 15, I was in Denver, Colorado. You know what I'm saying? Those are the ages when you're starting to like learn about the world. You're starting to go out on your own, see things for yourself. You know what I'm saying? This is the first time, first time I ever you know, first time I got robbed was in Denver. First time I ever robbed was in Denver. First time I got into a fight was in Denver. First time I got beat up was in Denver. First time I skipped class was in Denver. First time I heard a rap record was in Denver. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. like, these are all things that, you know, coming out. I mean, it was just, it was just, it's it just a, a dope city. You know what I'm saying? I had a dope punk rock scene, which I was into early on before rap. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I went to Hamilton Middle School, and it's just like, a plethora of people there, you know what I'm saying? With the Thomas Jefferson after that. TJ, so, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? A lot of my friends went to George George Washington. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. G dub. Right. And uh, you know, so it was like that whole you know, it was just it was just so much here, you know what I'm saying? Riding the RTD down to where to wherever we were going to uh you know, fool around on Evans. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Just Get, kick it up, just kick it on Evans it. for nothing. <laughs> just to hang out. Just all types of stuff, man. I just a lot of, a lot of like my first were here. No doubt, no. You still got you got friends here that you know you still keep in touch with. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I got I got a good good friend here. He, uh, he's a very good friend of mine since sixth grade. His name is JoJo. He's over there on that couch right now. He's okay. Chilling. All right. And you know that's uh that's that's been my man since day one. So um, you know that um this this like a this his first show they got to come to with me. Oh, for real. So you know what I'm saying he got okay. to come and nice. It's you know crazy in front of how many thousands of people were here? Uh, Seventeen. Woo. Seventeen thousand. <laughs> I am. Yeah. MGK backstage, KS1075, Summer Jam 18. Uh, new music coming. I was reading yes. on Twitter that you had just turned in your album like days ago. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, tell us, uh, you know, the, the vibe of, of new music coming from you. Are you in a new space? Um, I'm in a huge new space, man. I mean, it's been three years since my last album. I'm yeah. 25. Something happens when you're 25. I don't know. I felt it on my birthday. I was like, oh, man, I'm old. <laughs> but not old. I'm just like, I'm just wise. I know what's wiser. up. I, yeah. I'm wiser. You know what I'm saying? I took that giant middle finger that I had planted on my forehead, like off. You know what I'm saying? So okay. I'm just like, you know, I'm just more open to things. I'm, I'm, I'm realizing new stuff. And, uh, you know, I also know how to give my fans a good blend of music as well as giving the streets a good blend of music. Cause that's who I grew up up with and that's who I'm around. And it's like, if I can't go back and give them something to bump, yeah. then, you know, what, what is that about? And if I can't, you know use my voice as a tool to change then you know it means nothing you know what i'm saying so i'm just balancing it's a good balance between all of that you know what i'm saying no doubt 
Yeah. So rather than being preachy, it's more just me, you know, being a news reporter for what's really going on in the world. And that's, you know, it's kind of the, the duty of, of you know, all of us, especially, you know, communication, whether it be or, you know, whether you're putting out a record just to be that that voice. Yeah. Of yeah. What's really going on. Yeah. Um, I was uh, listening to an interview you did in New York and um, it is very funny because I know you, you're, you know, kind of guy that doesn't like to be in the limelight a whole lot, but you know, nope. as you are, you know, you're in this, you know, in this medium and people see you, you just said famous whack. <laughs> yeah, <famous sucks. laughs> Explain it for people because there's some people that are like, you know, that want to be famous. They want to do this, want to do that. But you know, there, there, there's a lot famous, of pitfalls there. If I wanted to be famous, I wouldn't be up here bloody and dirty and disgusting and eating Reese's pieces. <laughs> but it's, but it's not wrong with that. People like that kind Listen of stuff. Listen to my music, dude. Yeah, that, and that's and that's what matters is the music, no doubt. The fame, you know, will will come, but it's not necessarily mm -hmm. something that you need because there's there's right. a lot of there's a lot of you know dope MCs and whatnot who you know quote unquote aren't famous, but you know they got the fan base, they yeah. got the family. That's love. That's all they really yeah. need. And and that's what you got. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you see, I mean, the people that were before me on the bill have number ones. You know what I'm saying? I don't have a number one. Mm -hmm. But I got them fans. But you got the fans. So yeah, that's you know that speaks that speaks a lot. And and in when number one comes, it's gonna be all right. Oh man, it's gonna be earned. Yeah, you know I mean that's what it is. It's gonna be well deserved. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be. All it's right. coming. It's coming for sure. So we look for when's when's the new album supposed to be coming out? Do we know for sure? We got a got a release date it's, yet? Or I mean it's, summer. That's what I mean. Just, you know, just right. I, I just turned in, so I'm waiting to see. You okay. know what what bs comes with right. that you know there's I mean? always some sample some, yeah it's always some it's always some politicking right going on but it's all good yes but it's great it's a phenomenal record you know what i'm saying I, I i know that you guys play a little more a lot yeah yeah um you know like i said just like the joint with bone thugs i mean it's just quality music coming out you know what i mean so well, a little keep excited and keep looking out for it you know a little more I mean? is the thing and the, the video is intense mm -hmm. um and that that's some good stuff too and we Again, appreciate you and welcome back. You know, welcome back to your other home. Uh, thank you, thank to, you so much. To Denver, Colorado. Yes, sir. And uh, definitely appreciate you doing the summer jam and look forward to lots more good music coming. I do, Kendall. Thank you so much. All man. right, man. Appreciate it. MGK. Yes, sir. Live backstage. It's Summer Jam 18. <laughs>